Jala, Shigushe, Jen Proctor Andrews. I'm here today with the lovely Kaylin Simpson to talk a little bit about tribal traditions and uh, growing up in our tribal traditions. Kaylin, can you say a little thing about yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself and um, growing up. Yeah, I grew up uh, in the 80s, just after restoration in the Coquille Coose Bay area. So I was able to participate in a lot of the early years. Um, I think my generation was one of the first to put together our own regalia and I learned how to dance with a lot of my cousins and oh, cool. uh, some of the first powwows and mm -hmm. um, was there at the, the start of the casino and, and my dad works there still to this day. Uh -huh. um, so um, yeah, it was fun growing up in that time and being a part of the, the tribal community. Yeah, that's great. Where were you at during all this time? Um, well, growing up in the 70s and 80s <laughs> in Salem, I had a different experience in knowing when I was very young that I was a part of a tribal group, but it was a very vague understanding um, because I was so young and because we didn't really have a lot of cohesiveness, um, at least there wasn't in my world living in Salem uh, with my family. Um, but that changed quickly with working on restoration with the restoration committee and taking all those trips down south to be in those meetings and those little conference rooms at the Pony Village um, or community center or wherever, wherever they were. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so doing, you know, helping with production on the restoration committee, even though I was young at the time, um, that all of that restoration work, I think I was. This is like 12 through 16 or so, um, but it really brought home for me the importance in seeing all of these adults spending so much of time and energy and resources on working to get this done and helping out with all of that is an experience that I will take with me through life and is just something that I feel is so precious in my life. It's, it's a really amazing experience and it was so just rewarding when it was done it was mm -hmm. like we got this restoration and at the time you know being the age that I was uh, I, I don't know that I really had a grasp back then on what it meant or you know how it was going to change my life um, and all of the other lives that it touched um, so I feel like it's it's important for us to really to learn from the past and maintain that connection to even though those dark 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 days are over to really understand and know that how precious it is what we have absolutely absolutely showing gratitude towards the people who paved the way for us to really experience what it's like to be in a sovereign nation mm -hmm. um to um yeah, just feeling very blessed is what I've always thought of being tribal. Um, mm -hmm. My grandma used to talk a lot about prior to restoration, just the huge difference it was in the tribal community because it was really a fight to get recognized and to to be awarded that, that sovereignty that we fought so hard for. So we owe it to our elders, which is another reason I think that um, I really have appreciated our, um, our culture's appreciation of elders because they were the ones that paved the way for us. And then now being a mother and taking it very serious and passing on the culture and the traditions to children is important. And here he is. Yeah, right, here he is. Right on cue, hey. my love. <laughs> Mama. Mama. Yes, sweetie. Do you want to say hi? Yes, say hello. hi. Hi, there and this you is are. the next generation that we are now responsible for um, yeah. continuing those cultural traditions Mama. with. All right. Yeah, well, right um, here. It's here. Thanks for talking yes. with me today. Um, <laughs> it was great, great talking with you, and yes. thanks for participating. Good. Yes. yes. And thank you for coming <laughs> over and talking about all of this. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We hope you enjoyed it. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Shoe and Holly.